Adobe Stock is a massive marketplace used by creatives from all around the world. As an artist, you have an opportunity to put your work in front of Adobe customers to sell licenses for them to use in their projects. In order to sell your content, Adobe customers need to be able to find your content. The best way you can help them to do this is to accurately describe your work using effective keywords and a title. Hi, I'm Adobe Stock Artist Evangelist Matt Hayward, and in this brief video, I'll show you how to apply accurate keywords and a title to your stock assets before you submit them for review. Once you have uploaded your content into the Adobe Stock Contributor Portal, you'll find it in the New section found under the Uploaded Files tab. This section is where you'll index all file types, including photos, videos, and vectors. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be referencing photo submissions. I've uploaded two images of a woman walking her dog, and now I need to help customers find the photos so they can buy a license to use them. There are three main indexing sections that must be completed before you can submit your file. The category is a broad overview of what the main subject is in the image. Adobe Sensei does a very good job automatically selecting a category for you, so I almost always leave it if, as is. If you do want to change a category, simply click to open the drop-down menu and select what you like. Next is the title. The title should read like a sentence and provide a brief summary of what is in the image. Adobe Sensei can recommend up to three titles for you. To see the automatic title options, click the empty title box. For this image, Sensei has recommended woman with dog, woman and dog, or young, young woman with her dog. All three are relevant options that would work just fine, but I want a little bit more detail in my title. So I'm gonna type woman walking her golden retriever dog outside on a leash. Great, so the title's done. Now, assuming your file had no keywords embedded in the metadata before you uploaded it, Adobe Sensei, which by the way is the artificial intelligence built within the Adobe applications, will recognize what's in your image and it'll recommend up to 25 keywords for you automatically. You can see how many keywords are associated with an image by looking under the thumbnail preview. The auto keyword feature can be a huge help and provides you with a great start, but keywording is so critical to the success of your content that it's very important you take a few extra steps before submitting for review. First things first, like I said, Sensei is pretty amazing and it does a great job recommending keywords, but it's not always perfect. Sometimes irrelevant keywords are listed and words you may think are important are missing. You'll want to remove the irrelevant keywords and add what you think is missing. You can expand the list to see all of your keywords by clicking this blue C keyword remaining button. Now that shows you the full list. And so you want to go through the list and remove any words that are irrelevant. So far so good. Dog, pet, retriever, animal. It's even identified the breed, which is great. Now Hudson uh, is the golden retriever. He's about nine years old, so he's not a puppy. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click this X to the right of the keyword to remove that. We'll scroll down. This is not a portrait. So I'm gonna remove the word portrait. And he's a golden retriever, not a Labrador retriever. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that keyword. And there's no children in the image, and so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the word child. Great. And so what's left are relevant keywords, but maybe there's a few words that are missing. I mean, they're on a walk, and so I'm gonna go ahead and add the word walk. That's a pretty important keyword. They're exercising. I think that's a good word, exercise. A leash is important. They're active and they're healthy. Great, and so I can, you notice I added all those keywords into that one box separated by a comma. I'm now gonna hit the tab key and that's gonna distribute those keywords throughout. Now, it's really, really important that you know that the Adobe Stock search engine puts an emphasis on the first 10 keywords listed with your file. That means you must list the most important, most relevant keywords first. And here's a pro tip for you. If a word is listed in the title and in your top 10 keywords, it's gonna have even more weight in the search results. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of reshuffling. There's two ways that you can reorder your keywords. Let's say we want golden retriever to be the most, we consider that the most important, most relevant keyword. I'm going to click this little up arrow and that moves it right directly to the number one spot. But maybe I think uh, leash is the second most important keyword. And so I can click 
that number adjacent to the word and drag it to the position that I want it to be in. Maybe exercise I don't feel is as relevant and so I'm going to move that out of the top 10 keywords and put that in position number 11. And we'll move woman from number 14 up to number 3 and we're happy with that. Great, so now we've removed irrelevant keywords, we've added what we think is missing, and we've resorted to put the most important keywords first. If you've uploaded multiple images from the same series that can use similar or the same keywords, you can view the full list of applied keywords to copy by clicking the Paste Keywords button. This shows you an all-inclusive list of the keywords. Simply highlight them, right-click, select copy and then open the image you want to apply these keywords to and so this image has auto keywords added that i might want to use but i know i want to use the keywords i chose for sure so i'm going to go ahead and erase all the auto keywords by clicking the erase all keywords link under the keyword boxes i'm going to select the paste keywords button to get back into this paste keywords box i'm going to hit Control v or command v to paste those keywords in and voila, there they are. You don't have to add your keywords in the Adobe Stock Contributor Portal. If you choose to add your keywords to the metadata before you submit your content, the Adobe Stock Contributor Portal is going to apply those words instead of the auto keywords. Check out my other videos for more information, including a video demonstrating how to add your keywords to metadata using Adobe Bridge. My name is Matt Hayward. I hope you found what you were looking for in this video. Be sure to check out the rest of the series for additional tips and tricks on becoming a successful Adobe Stock Artist.